In this segment, I'm going to show you how to lock up your form in um, a line of scribe for, to get it ready for printing. Um, this is an important step that keeps everything super tight together so it doesn't fall apart uh, when you apply the pressure of the rollers. So the first thing I did was, as you remember from last time, we set up our type in the composing stick. I slid it off of the composing stick into my galley tray and I'm going to bring it on over here where I have already slid it off with the entire quote that we're setting up into the line of scribe press. So now you can see that I've got six lines of type, I've added an image, and I have the quotes author, which is Anais Nin. So the next thing I need to do is fill in with what's called, with pieces of wood, which are called furniture. Uh, this adds pressure both top to bottom, right and left, so it holds it nice and tight and in place. I need to leave space for my coins. Just quickly, uh, we have Wickersham coins. We have challenge coins which work on a sliding wedge and we've got high speed coins. They each have their own special coin key which helps increase the pressure on them. Today we're gonna to be focusing on using the challenge coins. These are the easiest to come by and the most common. So I'm gonna finish um, filling out my space with my furniture. So I've got my, I'm filling in my space top to bottom. Now I need to fill in my space to, pre, to be able to apply, apply pressure left to right. These are different widths. It's kind of like filling in a jigsaw puzzle. Um, you choose the widths based on the overall um, space that you have here and you can do some measurements. So for example, the space I need to fill in is about 20 uh, picas. And so if I add up the widths of each of these, they should add up to about 20 picas. And then I'm gonna take my coins, because I've left enough space for them. It's a little bit loose, so I'm gonna add a piece of um, reglet here to fill in and increase that tension. Okay, so now I take the coin key that's correct for my coins and I'm gonna gently um, start tightening it. And I like to tighten the shortest direction first. You can run into some problems where as you tighten your form, which is your image area, starts to pop up a little bit. So I find that if I tighten in the shortest direction first, I am less likely to have that happen. And now I'm tightening the long direction. And when I feel a bit of resistance and it's not too tight, to make sure that everything is the right height, I'm gonna take my mallet. I'm gonna make sure that everything is nice and level. What I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna slide and tap as I slide around. If you do that, you run the risk of any imperfections on this surface scratching your type. This, isn't, but this is especially important if you're working with wood. Uh, but it will help your type, any whether wood or metal, last longer. After I've given it my taps, I am going to come back in and give um, a little bit more tightening. Just to make sure it's good and in there. And now we're ready to print. 